Then there were two. Mark Rogers TV in the Heisman Trophy race between Kansas State quarterback Colin Klein and Johnny Manziel of Texas A&M. Now, following last weekend's play and some huge games, including Bama LSU and Oregon USC, we handicapped it this way. Colin Klein at one, A.J. McCarron at two, Braxton Miller at three, Manti Teo at four, Johnny Manziel at five, and Kenyon Barner at six. The biggest moves last weekend made by McCarron at Alabama with that huge comeback win at LSU in which he completed four consecutive passes plus the game winner to keep the Tides' undefeated season alive last Saturday. And Kenyon Barter exploding against USC for 321 rushing and five touchdowns. If you want to know our further logic and explanation and reason behind our top six, check out last week's video because here's the update. We made the disclaimer last weekend that if Johnny Football Johnny Manziel could go on the road at Alabama against the defending national champion, consensus number one, Alabama, plus the defense that they've got, giving up just about 10 points per game. If he could win that game, then look out. It's a two-man race. And Johnny Manziel in A&M pulled it off. Manziel, 24 of 31, 253 through the air, two touchdowns, no picks, and even more impressively, maybe, was his rushing effort, 18 for 92, against that Bama defense that just doesn't give up anything on the ground, especially to quarterbacks. But Manziel got into the open field, made defenders miss, even the quick, nasty defensive players at Alabama. So Johnny Manziel pulls off the win, and this is how it breaks down between he and Colin Klein. Okay, for Colin Klein, he's at 70%. 12 touchdowns, 3 picks. He's run for 700 yards and 19 rushing touchdowns. He's got 31 total touchdowns. The intangibles working for Colin Klein is that he's a leader and that he's leading uh, an underdog team. Kansas State, not with great, great talent. Yes, they've got athletes or they couldn't be 10-0 against that schedule. But the perception, as we explained last week, is that Colin Klein has led this football team that is undermanned and not as athletic as some of the other teams around the country, and there is no way that Kansas State would be undefeated without Colin Klein. For Johnny Manziel, he's got all the swag, all the momentum, all the buzz working for him right now coming off this game, and even before, he's a legend in the state of Texas going back to his high school football days. Johnny Football is a legend in Texas, and now he's made his stake nationally going on the road to defeat Alabama. For Johnny Manziel, he's 68% for the season, 18 touchdowns passing, six picks. He's run for over 900 yards and 15 rushing touchdowns, so he's got 33 TDs. That's how it matches up statistically. So we've got this perception about Klein leading a Kansas State team into a national championship situation if he can get past Baylor and Texas. That Texas game is going to be huge, especially for Colin Klein, and he needs to make a statement against the Longhorns. For Johnny Manziel, he's pretty much played his all, all his big opponents. He's got Sam Houston State coming up on Saturday, followed by a game against Missouri. So for Johnny Manziel, he's the buzz right now. For Colin Klein, it was important that he come back from that injury suffered against Oklahoma State and play a decent football game. He got the win, not glittering statistic. But again, Kansas State remains undefeated. So this is how it shakes out right now. Colin Klein versus Johnny Manziel. We believe it's a two-man race unless Manti Teo does some heroic things against USC because that's going to be his one shot left for Notre Dame to shine against the Trojans at USC. We would love to hear what you have to say about the Heisman Trophy race and specifically Klein and Manziel. And are we missing it? Is there somebody else we need to be talking about? That's our top six. Would love to hear from you on Mark Rogers TV.